New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and b and I'm Eric Nason with NewShooter.com and I'm at IBC 2023 in the lovely city of Amsterdam and I'm with Mark from Zine and Sam Yang and uh, you know we were talking a little bit earlier about the, the Meister lenses, they look fabulous, but we have a little something that's kind of not ready yet. It's a prototype, very interesting. You were even yeah, like surprised was, to see this. Was, so uh, talk to me about what we got yes, here. I mean, as Zine for now, you know, for, for quite some time they've had their VAF series out. Um, which are super lightweight e-mounts. Uh, at, you know, at the moment, they're only in e-mount e form, but mm -hmm. um, very lightweight, super sharp, full frame sensor as well. They cover the full image circle, full frame. Um, but they've been designed with this front mount here, which mm -hmm. you know, to a lot of people are like, what the hell is that? There's, you know, even, there's little uh, contacts in there. What's that no, for, even right? I looked at it, I was like, is that a PL <laughs> mount or something? Because you see the pin there. Yeah, um, Yeah, I thought that was a PL mount, but <laughs> you've got this little LDS pin as well. So I thought, okay, what is this? And then. Um, coming to the stand and, and seeing this here, these guys have built in some accessories. So uh, they built this manual focus accessory here. So you can have a focus puller with a uh, um, focus motor yes. or um, your manual focus gears, which will pull onto this gear wheel here. And this simply just attaches with the LDS pins here and the mount um, straight on. So you can, you can clip it on like this, lock it down, uh, just a typical lock like a PL mount. And what happens, the LDS communicates to the lens and it de-clicks this ring here. So Very this nice. actually becomes your aperture ring. So you can uh, change your iris with this ring here. And this becomes your focus ring. We have the gears with the teeth. So once again, if you're doing maybe a higher end production with focus puller, there bang, you go. there you go. And it's, it's sim and again, this is very lightweight. It, it's all, I, I swear, this is under a kilo, just yeah. the stuff here. Um, these lenses are all uniform in weight as well and size. Uh, T1.9, except for this 100 millimeter, which is T2.9. Um, but I mean, again, a great solution for, for budget, lightweight. The best thing about this being uniform on uh, all weight, weight lengths is um, on your gimbal. You won't need to uh, yeah. readjust your gimbal, rebalance your gimbal. So that's one plus here with this. But then they surprised me. <laughs> surprised, surprised me too. It <laughs> surprised me with this. So this also attaches to the VAF series. This is a, this is a prototype for now. Um, same kind of system which attaches to the mount here. But this is a front anamorphic adapter with a 1.7 squeeze. Um, again, this is actually heavier than the lens themselves. Uh, quite heavy and you know, anamorphic is always quite heavy. A lot heavier. of glass in there. Um, yeah, I mean, th this is still a prototype. I can imagine they're gonna bring in a little mount here to support the weight, you know, to avoid you damaging your mount and your camera. Um, but yeah, the, the image is it's actually quite beautiful. The, the coating's got a nice blue look to it. Um, still a prototype. There are going to be teeth and gears here for your, your higher-end productions where you have a focus puller or a manual focus gear. Um, the markings here, they, this is not, again, it's just a prototype. But to see a front anamorphic adapter and such an ease of use and an accessory to a, a lens series just like that and locked down at the bottom, I mean, it's, it's been bloody fantastic. I, I don't know why people haven't thought of this uh, before. I've seen the rear uh, anamorphic adapters, but to see a front and actually see the image, the, what it's uh, producing, um, yeah, bloody amazing. So yeah, That's really cool. And first off, I, I've never seen anything like that. So this might be like a first for, with this type of uh, adapter to the front. They do have the patent, so I've heard. They do have the patent. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Ji Hun is here, who's the, the fantastic engineer and a designer behind this. Um, he's one of those science guys. I love yeah. those kind of people. But yeah, I think uh, there's a bright future for this, uh, and I think a lot of other brands might look at such a such an example of a product. So yeah, um, interesting now, what to see the, what happens what, in a year. Yeah, I think. what lenses uh, are compatible in this in this line, so like as far as focal lengths that at work? At the moment, it? it's just the VAF series, which have been out with Samyang for nearly two years now. Yes. Um, again, as I said, they're only available in e mounts. Yes. Uh, and covering a full frame image circle but but you could use the other focal lengths right yes so do you know what the Every other focal, other focal lengths, lengths are i think it was 24 75 50 35 100 i think there's 14 or 16. what's the and, 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 and they, but they for, for the most part you're basically you know that's like you're, you're making all those lenses into anamorphics so if you're, you're looking if you're thinking one. about you know if you yeah. buy several lenses if you already have them they're already affordable and then you have now a full set of anamorphic yeah, lenses two as for well. One, you know, yeah. getting spherical and anamorphic. And um, yeah, I mean, from what I've seen so far, understanding it is a prototype, yes. the image has been absolutely beautiful. And the, the fall off in the anamorphic has been great. So it's going to be interesting, interesting to see what happens with the glass over the next 12 months. 
um, and the housing, of course, mm -hmm. uh, what, what comes into play with the housing. But uh, for the idea, just someone to actually imply it and, and see it physically here, uh, wow. I mean, yeah. let's see what happens in, in about 12 months. I think the R&D is going to get, uh, get pretty intensive and I think we'll refine it uh, into a nice, a nice product at yeah. the end of the day. And then the iris is just controlled normally yeah, through got, the camera, just like you would normally focus, do. It. Back focus hasn't changed. You're not losing any light, so you haven't lost a stop or anything like that. Um, again, amazing. The yeah. Ji Hun here, who's our engineer, he's just there by the camera. Fantastic <laughs> uh, whiz, fantastic brain, and I think um, where he's where he's looking to bring Zine again, re-educating yourself in the brand, new innovations, and um, at a fraction of the cost. So. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see what happens. And pricing's probably still up in the air because this, this is very much a prototype. There's been some debate. They've been quizzing me on it too. Um, I don't know if I can say it, but I think, like for me, the, when I look at this kind of accessory, it could play around that $800 to $1,000 mark. We, we don't know. So okay. there's been debate. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I think that they'll come up with a reasonable number that fits fits to the pricing of buying a whole kit. Absolutely. And uh, having you know a second kit, essentially, with one accessory. And so. like you said, it's about a year out. They believe it's about a year out. Um, of course, when the first real one plays out onto the uh, onto the shelves, there could be some tweaks here and there. You know, troubleshooting always comes about. But I mean, for a product like this, that's I've I've never seen anything like this. It's yeah. it's quite innovative. So yeah. yeah. All right, Mark. Very cool. No, no worries, mate. Have a good right, show. I'll see you around. Mate. Yeah, man. All right, take care.